Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we're taking a look at a spell bait strategy that has been pretty popular after the update on a Tuesday, and that is a Minor Barrel Minion Horde deck, as you can see right here. I've seen it a fair bit on TV Royale. Now, the spells, for the most part, can be switched up if you want to. The most popular version that I see being used on TV Royale has the Log as well as the Poison spell in there, but I prefer using Zap Fireball. You guys already know that. But anyways, guys, here is the deck we're taking a look at today. Let's go ahead here and just jump into our first battle of the evening. Here we go. Mr. Person that we're going to face searching for opponent, opponent found. Good luck, sir. So, the real deal, guys. The real Darren. Not to be confused with that fake Darren going around. So, real Darren, what do you got for us? What do you have for us today? Archers. I don't like that. Don't like it at all. Maybe Hog Cycle or Mortar. Could be either or. Could be something else. Boom, boom. What do you got for us, sir? Giant. The giant. Please don't have that too. That'll make Shane very sad. Oh, the giant's dead. That barrel did a fair bit of work to that tower on the right hand side there, guys. Like, I would dare say a fair bit of work. So we could go Goblin Gang here for the Mega, or we could just ignore it. I mean, we're gonna we gotta use something anyways to cycle, so let's just use Goblin Gang. Take a downtown. And get some damage done to that uh, tombstone place. Kill it. Princess, don't use Archer, sir. Don't you dare. Bola. Bowler uh, Giant. Very respectable choice. I wonder if he's got... Hmm. There's a small chance he might have... What you may call it in there, guys. There's a small chance I might be in there. The, the graveyard. Ooh, the arrows. Respectable choice, my friend. I don't like it, but it is respectable. Respect worth... The miner went down after the Zaspa. What? How did that happen, guys? Did you see that? The miner legit went down after the Zaspa. That's weird. Please use log on the tower. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Gobbins, get some stabs off. Thank you. Thank you, boys and girls. Now, funny story, guys. Let me know if this ever happens to you, but literally, whenever I throw a minion horde into my deck, always face arrows. I don't know what it is, but I always face the arrows. I'm not even exaggerating. Maybe just a bit. I'm Yeah, a little bit, but... Lightning spell there. Little Goblin Gang action here. Giant's going down. Ooh, nice bullet, sir. That's going down there. Can we bait out an arrows with this barrel here? Actually, let's just go in front of the tower. Ooh, get some stabs off goblins, please. Yes, sir. There we go. One more stab. Fireball does. I'm holding it. It doesn't tell me. 292. Oh, man, we're four health under. That's sad now. Lightning spell here. Too late. Too late for our friend. Let's go over here with the miner. Little miner over there. And does our friend real Darren give up? I think he does, guys. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, he does give up. He could actually come back if he gets that arrows value right there, but... Busting out a solid three here to start things off. Let's go for the kill, guys. Going in for the kill. Going for the jugular. Prince is back here. So not bad, guys. He had arrows and bowler in there. We actually did okay. It was the Infernal Tower there. That for Infernal Tower was nasty. Nasty sauce indeed. Alright, let's jump into one more over here and probably do a bit of grand, grand challenges as well, guys. Because this deck is uh, pretty popular. Popular. Is it popular or popular? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sometimes I say words just for fun, just for weirds. Uh, for the videos. One, one question I often get is, why do I say right meow instead of right now? And the answer literally is just, just to be weird. Oh, baby, zap the Goblin Gang. Okay, so that's dead. Goblin stab in the tower, please. Um, we're going to set the minion horde for right now, and we'll see if he got, say, a bowler. Or a bowler, a balloon. Oh, baby. Please don't have your arrows ready, sir. Does he got it? Minion horde clean house. Yes, bust that mop out. Get the duster ready. The house is clean, boys and girls. So, Monster 23 is now something. Minions get in there, please. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go Princess right here. Tower on the right is Fireball Crane. So where to go? Boom. I'm just going to ignore those min uh, minions there. I wonder if we go deeper barrel if he misses his arrows here. Ah? Uh? 
He missed one. I mean, that's okay. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. And, it, and what it is, is what it is. So, the thing, though, is even though he uses those arrows on the uh, barrel, it's actually beneficial for us because it means he doesn't have arrows for the minion horde. Unless he cycles fast. So, Mr. Angry Monster, can we be angry too? Where's that BM? If they get angry at you and you get angry back, is it BM? Sometimes I like to just fool around and be angry, even though I'm not really angry. I'm just kind of like, hey, haha, you're angry? Me too, not really. Look at this, guys. Oh man, we're just doing work. That miner's gonna activate the King Tower, please, miner! Yes! There we go. That was the uh, weakest yes fist pump ever. But, uh. Oh, what's that fireball for, sir? What are you doing, my friend? What am I doing with the miner? What was that minor drop, guys? I'm not using a hog rider, Shane. What are you doing? Ay, 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 guys. Ay, 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 indeed. I literally was trying to use a hog rider there. When I used a miner there. What in the world? I think Monster gave up. I think that was a salt, a salt fireball there. High in NACL. That, that's salt, right? What's that? <laughs> All right, let's do this, guys. Let's, let's, let's finish him off here. Monster 23 going in there. So, uh, that's okay. I'm okay with that battle right there for sure. Is that for the win? There we go. Busting out the three crown, guys. I can't believe I used the miner where the hog rider goes. That's too funny. Too funny indeed. Let's go ahead and jump into one right here. And we'll finish off with one more. So, 4666 is our trophies. Mr. Uh, good luck to our friend LY up there. Level 11. I have a strange feeling. Guys, I have a strange feeling he's got high cards. I don't know. Whenever I see a lower level up here, I'm like, something suspicious is at play. Do you guys ever get that? Let me know in the comments below if this ever happens to you. Do you ever face like a level 9, level 10, level 11, and then just bust out max cards and you're just like, whoa, whoa, what? Does that ever happen to you? It happens to me sometimes. And I'm just like, what in the world? Ah, uh, there's the max goblin hut. Uh, let's see if we just fireball this. I don't know. Luggage for my princess. I wanna go with a goblin gang and a barrel. Aggressive? What do we got? Ooh, he's got barbs. And an ice wizard. Maybe kill the barbs. You get some stabs off the tower as well. Um, Not really worth it though, in my opinion, guys, to be honest. Uh, he's got an RG in there somewhere, or a giant. Um, is my guess right meow. Okay, a barb hut. So pure spawner, guys. I still think he's got like an expo or something in there because what spawner decks do is they just build up value over time with things, and then eventually they just like drop down a tank and they just get destroyed. There we go. He's gonna drop that log down there. We're kind of okay with that log, not really though. Guys, I told you, it's arrows everywhere. It's arrows town. We don't really have anything good for a uh, a spawner deck, guys, in this, in this particular uh, deck here. Against spawners, having stuff like bowlers or executioners is so valuable. We don't really have anything good for spawners, to be honest. We don't really have a good spawner counter. Let's do this, this. Please use barbs. Oh, this is far. We get the ice wizard as well as the barbarians and that barb hut. Goblin sound the tower, please. Stop some more. They got arrows and log once again, though. That's nasty, guys. Ooh. Goblin gang do work here. Is he arrows us? Hog runner's down. I told you he had a tank, though, guys. I told you. I knew it. He had a tank. We have that to cross and do this. And then just minor chip. Kill the musketeer, please. Woo. Probably this. Ooh, there we go. Sweet baby something. Uh, that. This here, is that this? Get the barbarians, please. Yes, sir. Inferno for the hog rider. All right, good game, sir. I know, guys, he was a level 11. Um, so he had a one level tower disadvantage against us, but he, had, he did have some pretty high other cards in there, like the max barb hut, the max uh, spear goblin hut. To be honest, guys, I was actually pretty worried about losing that one. I'm happy I didn't, though. It's just that we didn't really have anything strong versus uh, spawners. Like, we had Princess, which is okay. 
but he had log and arrows. So he had the log for the Prince in the Barrel and the arrows for the Minion Horde. If you have like Bowler or Executioner or both, or even Sparky, stuff like that, like long range support units are very good versus uh, spawners because they just take out all of the uh, spawning units and they just give you a huge time to build out the Elixir. We're going to finish off here with one more ladder match and just see how Mr. Stocks 77 does. So, we'll finish the video off with a grand challenge or two or five afterwards, but for now, ladder it is. It is two in the morning for me. Princess right here. And do we want to do a... No. I don't want to do minor and barrel because we don't know what he has yet for spells. Um, I mean, minor would have been okay there. But the chances of us predicting that like on point would have been slim to none. Do this, and then Goblin Gang for the Archers. I was going to use Minion Horde there, but we wouldn't be able to afford... Oh, the Lightning Spell! Kill the Giant, please! Ooh. Uh... See, I don't know if, if I... I think we just ignore that Giant there, guys. I think if my if my Inferno Tower was level 11 um, to match that Giant there, would it have survived long enough to kill a Giant? I feel like a level nine. Uh, I feel like the level nine in front tower was really noticeable right there, when it died. But I could just be a nub. Barrel here. Uh, log. Archers again. Whoa, dude. Busting out the archers. Gotcha. Minion horde back here now. This here. Uh, ice spots are going down. Okay. Gonna kill the uh, giant there. Die giant. Yeah, he dead. He dead for sure. Okay, I wanna go this, this. Keep the pressure up, guys. Keep the pressure up for sure against Mr. Stocks there. Bomber going down, taking care of my uh, goblins. Sad life for the goblins there. Short and miserable. So I'm gonna go Princess here for that bomber. I guess the bomber does work. Even one hit on your tower is like 5,000 damage. How many hits does he get? And it is one. It does, whoa, 5,000. Told you guys. It's over 9,000 damage. Oh my gosh. Does he not have any spells besides the lightning? I don't know, boys, but he's got something. This here, and then this here. There we go. I want to use the minion court early so it kind of like kills the giant faster. Giant's dead. Spirit Ghost finish the tower off, please. Ooh, there we go, boys. Tower's dead. Can we survive for 30, though? That's my question. Uh, I don't really want to go offensive Goblin Barrel there, so we just can go this. Spawn some stuff out. I'm surprised he's pushing that lane there, guys, to be honest. They're dead. Good game, sir. Well played. Stock 77. Not bad, guys. I'm pretty surprised we actually won that one. I know I, I said that every battle. Do I not? I say that every battle. I'm pretty sure. I gotta stop saying that, guys. Uh, but it was okay in the end, though. It was okay for sure. Thank you, sir. We're right, gonna jump into one more ladder, guys, and then we'll finish off. I guarantee, I promise you at least one grand challenge at the end of the battle. At the end of the video, rather. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's go. Uh, Princess for this Ice Wizard. We'll see what our friend Game of Thrones, GOT. Daenerys. What do you got for us? Ooh, the luggage. We're gonna go barrel here, though, in your face. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you got? That wasn't good, guys. No, no, no. I thought I thought we had him when he dropped that log. I thought we had him there, but then he busted the NATO out, and I was just like, oh, GG's, I guess. I mean, his Ice Witcher is almost dead. We're, we're still in the game here. It's just that the Inferno Tower just isn't good versus Hog Rider, guys. It's just too fast. I would prefer Tesla, Cannon, or NATO for this matchup. Because Inferno Tower just is not good versus the Hoggy. We are going to farble that Princess because we've got no other choice, right? Meow. I'm going to go take her out. She did, sir. We're going to zap this here because he's going to do something in front anyways. Told ya. This should pull the Hog Rider over. Oh no, it can't. I forget, it's on a spawner building. Moppy. Okay, that's dead. Can you nudge it over to the left-hand side there? No hog damage done. I'm okay with that. 
for sure. Uh, who that the king tower being activated throws a cure ball at us. He's got that nade on there too to kill our minions. All right, let's just play defense here for a little bit. Just a little bit. Da -na -na, just a little bit. Da -da 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 -da. Wait for it. Oh, I want my minion horde here. Give me my uh, W Luxor, please. I mean, he nails that together. What does he get? Ice was he out of there? Minions will do work. Was out that? Nah, not really the best minion horde play there. Uh, but he's doing good, guys. He's doing good. I, I thought we might have had him by baiting out the NATO with the uh, Goblin Barrel. And then getting that thing down. But didn't really work out the way I wanted it to at all. To be honest, guys. Princess is dead. Wait for it. Man, he's he's solid. Rock solid today. NATO right here. Boom. Do work minions, please. There's the NATO. We got a small chance to win this, but he's got a hog rider right here. We gotta go boom, infernal. Pull it over. Okay, we good there. Uh 682. Come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. He missed his log there. Fireball for the win. Oh baby! What a comeback, guys! Wow! Game of Thrones, good game! Guys, I can't believe we won that! Thank goodness for the spell nerf in the update, because otherwise we would have been dead. I'm not too sure if he would have been dead, but... Man! Wow! I can't believe we won that one! Wow, guys! Alright guys, let's go ahead here and finish the video off with a quick grand challenge battle. As I promised, I did go ahead and switch the deck out for the more popular version that I see on TV Real with the Log and Poison in there. Uh, so we'll kind of see how it does at tourney standard. I know I say it almost every video, but the reason I use that fireball on ladder is because my zap and my fireball are both maxed out, whereas uh, my poison is one level lower, my log is two levels lower. So it just kind of makes more sense to use the higher level cards. Plus, I feel like on ladder you face more barbarians and stuff, where the fireball is a bit faster acting. Oh, Nelly. Has he got lightning for us? Uh... This here? I mean, we did- we, we, we survived. Wasn't the greatest, but that rage caught me off guard there for sure. All this back. So his tower's at 15, our tower's at uh, 2,000 basically. But uh, P.E.K.K.A. Execution, I wonder if he's got Miner or Hog in there. Typically P.E.K.K.A. is mostly a defensive card. Uh, not really like- you don't really build a P.E.K.K.A. beatdown deck. Um, so usually you have like P.E.K.K.A. Minor, P.E.K.K.A. Hog, P.E.K.K.A. Battle Ram, or P.E.K.K.A. Bandit. I mean, well P.E.K.K.A. Bandit is usually P.E.K.K.A. Minor as well, so we're gonna see... We're gonna see where he goes from there. Um, we can't go, uh, <laughs> we can't go Minor Minions yet. Because he's got the Executioner in hand. Get the Princess over here. Balloon, sir? We're gonna go Minion Horde for your Balloon. There we go. Boom. Kill. I'm okay with that guy, so the, the Balloon is his, is his win condition there, so Pekka Balloon is what he's got. That's what he's rocking today. What has he got? Log? Oh, I could have, if I was faster, I would have pre-logged that, but we didn't. We're not good like that, guys. Don't worry. So right here is a good example as to where, like, Zap would be useful. Because I could Zap that bat right there. But, I mean, we still got some good damage done. Tower on the right taking some good damage to that, uh, that stuff there, though. Wait for it, and Goblin Gang. He's gonna zap right here, but the goblins will still distract, and the tower should take care of that P.E.K.K.A. Ooh, the fireball going down! I don't know why he keeps pushing the left lane, which is the, uh, the stronger lane. Let's go this. See what he does. Bats? Princess will take care of them. Uh, we're gonna go barrel here to see what he does. Well, the princess didn't take care of them. What in the world? Just here. There we go. So we're okay now. Uh, we're gonna go quick. Minor Kya. Pull these guys over here. And Minor taking them down. Let's go uh, Infernal Tower here. Alright, so good game to our friend Mr. Pekka Balloon there, guys. That was a pretty close battle at the end there. I thought he might have went uh, Balloon there with the Pekka on the right-hand side. 
So it's a bit concerned, but uh, we ended up doing okay in the end though. But anyways guys, that will be the end of the video. Here is a deck one more time if you want another chance to go ahead and copy it. So this version right here has Log Poison in there, which I use for the challenge, which is also popular on TV Royale. And this version over here is the one that I used on Ladder. So let me know which one you like better, Zaf Fireball or Log Poison. Anyways guys, that is the end. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching guys. We will see you in the next one.